So guys, I have a two landing pages open here in the browser. They look exactly the same. Let's compare and see if there is any difference between these two pages. So I'm just going to reload this page and scroll it down. So this is how this first landing page looks. And now let's compare it to this one. So I'm just going to reload this as well. And let's scroll it down. So you can see that there is a subtle fade in animation when we load this page and scroll it down each and every component just fades in very slowly into the page. But here on this page, this looks very plain. There is no animation here. So in this video, we are going to implement fade in animation on this page using Tailwind CSS. So guys, we have this landing page open here in Visual Studio Code and we have this app running here on localhost. So as of now, there is no animation on this page and that is something we are going to implement on this landing page we'll be using tailwind css version 4 to implement animation and this page is built by using tailwind css version 4 if you want to know how to set up a tailwind css version 4 in your react white app i'll leave a link to that video in the description so now if we look at this landing page code we have different sections here we have a hero section and then there is a feature section and there is a about section after this and we have a testimonials section here and the last one is ETA. So we basically got five sections on this landing page. So basically we have to implement fade in animation on all these five sections on the landing page and we can start by defining the animation in our index.css file. So I'll just go to my index.css file here. We have already imported Tailwind CSS and this is where we are going to define our fade in animation and we can do that by using a theme keyword here. I'm just going to be using a theme keyword and inside this this, we are going to define our animation by using animate keyword and we are going to name this animation as fade in animation and then we have to define what exactly this animation is going to do so this is going to be a fade in animation it's going to take one second to complete so basically every section is going to get visible in one second and then we are going to ease out forwards which means that our opacity of fade is going to go from 0 to 100. Let's minimize this so we can see this animation clearly here. Now we have defined animation by using animate keyword and this is a fade in animation going to take one second to complete. And now we can define a keyframes here by using a keyword keyframes and we are going to name it as fade in. And inside this we are going to define what's going to be the opacity when animation is at 0%. So at 0% and we are going to say that opacity is going to be zero and same way we are going to define the opacity when animation is at 100% so at 100% opacity is going to be 100 so guys that's how we define any animation in Tailwind CSS so basically by defining this we have created a custom class name animate fade in which we can use to apply fade in animation to any of these sections on the app so to use this animation I'm just going to create a new component here under the source folder let's name this component as scroll fade in dot jsx so let's minimize this so we can see the screen clearly so here i'm just going to create a new component which is scroll fade in so that's how the component is going to look like so that's the default component i'm just going to make some imports here at the top so this component is going to need use effect and use reference from react so this is basically going to be a higher order component which is going to receive children as a prop so we are going to pass children as a prop and here under the div tag we are going to place all the children that are being passed to this component so now we have this basic component ready which is basically receiving a children and whatever children we pass to it this div tag is going to wrap around this children so before we work on this component we can go to app.jsx and we can import this component here import scroll fade in and all the features which are related to the fade in animation i'm just going to be writing in this component and because we want to apply all those features on all the sections so i'm just going to wrap my each and every section with this scroll fade in component so let's wrap the hero section here under this component we'll see no changes here because as of now this component is just receiving this hero section as a children and they are being rendered under this div tag so we are going to see no changes here so same way i'm just going to first wrap all my sections under this scroll fade in component so let's wrap the features same way let's 
let's wrap the about section here let's also wrap the testimonial section with a scroll fade in and the last section which is cta we are also going to wrap it in scroll fade in so now we have done this part we have wrapped each and every section with this higher order component scroll fade in so whatever features we are going to write in scroll fade in are going to apply to all the sections in this app so now let's go to scroll fade in here and this is where we are going to build a fade in animation and to start building a fade in animation i'm just going to apply a class name here on this div tag and by default we are going to make the opacity of this div tag as zero if we do that and save this all the components in the app are going to disappear components are already there but the opacity is zero so we are not able to see them on the screen if i make my opacity as 100 they are going to appear back for now i'm just going to make it zero and let's see how we can bring them back with the help of this fade in animation that we have defined here in index.css so we are going to try and use this animation and bring all the components back which are set to opacity zero by default so to do that i'm just going to create a reference here so i'm just going to create a reference by using a use ref hook that we have imported at the top and we are going to pass this reference here to this dev tag which is wrapping around all the components so let's pass the reference here and we are going to use this reference to implement fade in animation on each and every component so let's create a use effect here so i'm just going to create a use effect so i've just created a use effect function here so here inside this use effect we are going to be using something called observer which is going to be defined by using something called intersection observer and we are going to see shortly what exactly this intersection observer is and this is going to accept two parameters one is going to be a function and the second parameter it's going to accept after the function is some props that we can pass to it and we are going to pass threshold and we are going to say threshold is 0.1 so basically what's going to happen is intersection observer is something that can observe each and every section that is here and when we are scrolling through the app and the intersection observer can detect when any particular section is going to come in the viewport when we scroll through the app so basically intersection observer can detect when any section gets visible on the screen as we scroll through the app and this callback function is going to get fired as soon as any particular section comes on the screen and we are going to be using this function to build our fade in animations so basically this intersection observer is going to receive a parameter that is entry and let's see what exactly this parameter is and inside this function we can say that if entry dot is intersecting which means if if the section is on the viewport and reference dot current so basically what we are saying here is if entry is intersecting and the reference dot current which means that whenever this div tag is going to come in the viewport we are going to add some class name on this div tag by default the opacity is zero but when this div tag is going to come in the viewport we are going to add a class name to this div tag by doing something like reference dot current dot class list dot add animate fade in which is basically the class that we have defined here in index.css so basically by default our opacity is zero but whenever this dev tag is going to come in the viewport this use effect is going to fire and this is going to add a class name animate fade in to this dev tag so now we have defined this observer function which is going to observe this dev tag so we are going to say here in the next line we are going to call this function observer dot observe and what exactly is going to observe is reference dot current which is basically this div tag but when the component mounts the reference dot current is going to be null so i'm just going to put a condition here do this only if reference dot current exists in that case you have to go and observe this div tag and as soon as it comes in the viewport you have to add this animate fade in class on this div tag and in the end we have to disconnect this observer and so we are going to return and say on return observer dot disconnect and now we have done everything if we scroll up and look at this component i'm just going to expand it so everything looks correct basically we have to pass the initial value of the reference as null to make it work so now if i save this now we can see that our animation is working fine now if i refresh this app now we can see the subtle fade in animation that is coming but as of now we can see that this animation is firing only the first time we go to 
the page and then the first on the first scroll but now if i keep scrolling again i can't see the animation because it's firing only once if i want this animation to fire every time i scroll not just on the first load and the first scroll what i can do here is when the entry is intersecting i'm adding a class name animate fade in which is firing this animation here i can also say that else which means when the component is going out of the viewport I'm just going to remove this class again. So if I do that and now if I refresh my app, so it's firing the very first time on the first load and when i scroll down it's firing on the first scroll but now if i scroll back up it's going to fire again as soon as every component comes in the viewport it's going to fire every time now one more thing is what exactly is this threshold so basically this threshold defines at what stage this animation is going to fire so as of now this animation fires as soon as the component comes 10 percent on the screen so if i change the threshold to 0.5 this animation is going to fire on the component only when 50% of the component can be seen on the screen. So if I scroll down, you can see that now this is firing very slowly because it requires component to be 50% visible on the screen. But point 0.1 is a good number to have here on the threshold, which is going to make the animation look more subtle and professional. So guys, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you found a value in this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.